Does your 42-year-old Caucasian manager constantly refer to you as his muchacho? Sup, YouTube? This is Space Hedgehog 91 As some of you know, for the past nine months, I've had the dubious honor of working for possibly the worst human being I've ever encountered. And I've met Donald Trump when I was 10. His name is Jonathan Terry, and he's an asshole. How big of an Last night I emailed John to see what I should bring to our office's Thanksgiving potluck. His reply? Tacos or whatever you people eat. Yeah. Well today, I'm bringing something even sweeter. My resignation. That's right. Today, I quit. Good luck. Hi, I'm writer-producer Luis Alberto Perez. And I'm writer-director Sean Halverson. And we're the creators of Tales from the Unemployment Line, a new single-camera sitcom about, well, quitting your job. Our series is an anthology. Think Tales from the Crypt meets Office Space. Every episode is a completely new story, its own narrative arc, and new main character, focusing on what drives these individuals to their breaking points. Most people have worked or currently work for a job they hate. Every day, these people have to deal with horrible bosses, gossipy coworkers, or unruly customers. As a result, these same people fantasize about the eccentric, creative, and disruptive ways that they can finally leave their jobs behind. And these tales will be told through our narrator, one Walter Shy Guy Green, a 62-year-old employment consultant from Chicago. The series begins on Walter's last day before retirement. During a routine exit interview, Walter, a quiet, polite, nose-of-the-ground type employee, regales his young replacement with the colorful tales of people he's met throughout his 40 years at the agency. As the series continues, the audience slowly discovers that shy guy Walter isn't really who he seems to be. Each episode will highlight a new protagonist, characters like RJ Quinton, an underappreciated advertising exec who produces his own television commercial to stick it to his boss. Or Michelle Sarantino, an overworked and verbally harassed waitress who gives her resignation by writing a rather colorful message on the restaurant's marquee sign. Or Austin Long, a toy designer who after being humiliated by his coworker Gary, decides to take revenge by adding anatomically correct genitalia to Gary's prized G.I. Joe collection. Yikes. We want to make Tales from the Unemployment Line a reality, and getting the green light will ensure that the series is made properly. Like us, all of our cast and crew have day jobs, and filmmaking is unfortunately reserved for nights and weekends. Having a $25,000 budget, we'd be able to pay everyone fairly and support Chicago filmmaking in the process. And who knows, maybe one day some of our cast and crew will be able to quit their crappy day jobs and follow their creative dreams, just like our friend Dan here. It's how to go. Got a promotion. What? what? Really? What? No, <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm unemployed. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, so I've been meaning to ask, uh, are you supposed to be chicken or beef? Barbacoa, actually. I never knew what that was. That was great. Oh. Barbacoa. 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 Close enough. <laughs>